The Stranger, published in 1942, is one of Albert Camus' most significant literary works and a cornerstone of existentialist literature. The novel tells the story of Murso, an emotionally detached and indifferent man whose experiences and actions challenge societal norms and provoke deep philosophical questions about existence, morality, and the human condition. Plot Summary Novel, The Stranger, opens with the news of Meursault's mother's death. Meursault travels to her funeral, displaying an unusual emotional detachment. His behaviour, such as his indifference to grief and refusal to conform to social expectations, sets the tone for the exploration of absurdity and alienation that permeates the narrative. After the funeral, Meursault returns to his life in Algiers, where he engages in a relationship with Marie, a former co-worker, and befriends his neighbour, Raymond Sintes, who is embroiled in a violent conflict with his mistress. Murso becomes entangled in the aftermath of Raymond's abusive actions, ultimately leading him to commit an impulsive murder of an Arab man on the beach. The second half of the novel details Murso's trial, where the focus shifts from the murder itself to his character and moral indifference. The courtroom proceedings expose societal norms, revealing the absurdity of the justice system and the expectations placed upon individuals to conform to social norms. Ultimately, Mursault is condemned not just for his crime, but for his refusal to adhere to conventional emotional responses and his existential stance toward life. Absurdism. At the heart of The Stranger is Camus' philosophy of absurdism, which posits that human beings are caught in a meaningless universe, searching for purpose and clarity in a world that offers none. His realization that life lacks inherent meaning leads him to embrace a form of radical freedom, liberated from societal expectations. Alienation and Isolation Mursault's emotional detachment and indifference create a profound sense of alienation, not only from society, but also from himself. His inability to connect with others reflects the isolation of the human condition. This alienation is poignantly illustrated in his interactions with Marie and during the trial, where his failure to conform to societal norms renders him an outsider. The Nature of Existence and Identity Throughout the novel, Mursault's identity is shaped by his experiences and choices rather than societal labels. His confrontation with death, both through his mother's funeral and the act of killing, forces him to grapple with existence. The novel raises questions about what it means to be human, the essence of identity, and the search for meaning in a world indifferent to our struggles. The Role of Society The trial serves as a critique of societal norms and the justice system, exposing the absurdity of human judgment. Mursault's punishment stems from his failure to exhibit socially acceptable emotions rather than the act of murder itself. This commentary highlights the often arbitrary nature of morality and the ways in which society imposes meaning on individual lives. Mursault Mursault is an anti-hero, an embodiment of existentialist thought. His detached demeanour and refusal to conform to societal expectations challenge traditional notions of morality and human emotion. He represents the idea of living authentically despite the consequences. His journey reflects a quest for understanding in an indifferent universe, ultimately leading to his acceptance of life's absurdity. Marie Marie Meursault's love interest symbolizes the emotional connections that Meursault struggles to form. While she embodies warmth and affection, Meursault's indifference to her feelings underscores his emotional detachment. 
their relationship illustrates the contrast between human desires for connection and Meursault's existential outlook. Raymond Sintis Raymond, the violent neighbour, serves as a foil to Meursault. His actions are driven by passion and emotion, yet he also embodies absurdity through his violent outbursts. Raymond's relationship with Meursault illustrates the complexities of human interaction and the interplay between emotional engagement and detachment. Camus employs a straightforward and concise narrative style which enhances the novel's themes of absurdism and existentialism. He first-person perspective allows readers to intimately experience Meursault's thoughts and feelings, drawing them into his detached worldview. The novel's structure, divided into two parts, before and after the murder, mirrors Meursault's transformation and the shifting focus from individual experience to societal judgment. In The Stranger by Albert Camus, symbols and motifs play a crucial role in underscoring the novel's themes of absurdity, alienation and existentialism. These recurring elements not only add depth to the narrative, but also help readers explore the philosophical ideas that underpin the story. The Sun and Heat The sun and the oppressive heat are perhaps the most prominent symbols in The Stranger. They are closely linked to Meursault's emotional state and serve as triggers for key events, especially the murder on the beach. The Sun as an Oppressor Throughout the novel, the sun is portrayed as an overwhelming force, causing discomfort and confusion for Meursault. During his mother's funeral, the intense heat makes him more focused on physical discomfort than emotional grief, highlighting his detachment from societal expectations of mourning. The Sun and the Murder During the beach scene, the blinding and scorching sun disorients Meursault contributing to his decision to shoot the Arab man. The son almost acts as a character, driving his irrational behavior and underscoring the theme of how external forces, rather than internal emotions, can dictate human actions. Symbolic meaning. The son can be seen as representing the indifferent and uncaring universe, an embodiment of the existentialist idea that external forces are often arbitrary and uncontrollable, much like life itself. It symbolizes the irrationality of the world and how, under its harsh light, humans are left to grapple with the meaninglessness of existence. The courtroom The courtroom in the second half of the novel is a major symbol for societal judgment morality, and the arbitrary nature of justice. Absurdity of Judgment The trial is not just about the murder, but about Meursault's character, particularly his lack of emotion during his mother's funeral. Society seems more concerned with his failure to conform to social norms than with the crime itself. The courtroom becomes a metaphor for how society imposes its own meaning and values on an individual's life, often ignoring personal agency. Religion and Judgment The courtroom scene is steeped in religious imagery, with the prosecutor and defense attorney each casting Meursault in roles of sinner and saint. This focus on morality and salvation, however, contrasts sharply with Meursault's rejection of such constructs. His indifference to religion and morality highlights his existentialist outlook, further alienating him from society. Symbolic meaning The courtroom symbolizes society's attempts to impose structure and meaning on an absurd and indifferent universe. It reflects the human desire for order in a world that lacks inherent justice, reinforcing Camus' theme of the absurd. Meursault's mother, Madame Meursault Although she never appears directly in the novel, Madame Meursault plays a central symbolic role. Death as a motif 
The novel begins with her death and ends with Mersault's confrontation with his own mortality. Her death sets in motion the events that lead to the murder and ultimately to Mersault's trial. Mersault's indifferent response to her death becomes a major point of contention in the courtroom, representing his rejection of emotional and societal conventions. Reflection of Mursault's Philosophy Madame Mursault's choice to live in a nursing home symbolizes the acceptance of life's inevitable end. In a way, her death bookends the novel, symbolizing both the start of Mursault's journey into existential awareness and his eventual acceptance of the absurdity of life. Symbolic Meaning Madame Mursault serves as a symbol of the inevitability of death, and her relationship with Mursault reflects his struggle to accept life's absurdity. Her death also initiates Mursault's journey towards self-awareness, forcing him to confront the meaningless nature of existence. The sea. The sea plays an important symbolic role, particularly in relation to Mursault's moments of pleasure and detachment from the constraints of society. Escape and Freedom Murso often finds solace by the sea, and his time spent swimming with Marie represents moments of physical pleasure and emotional detachment. The sea becomes a symbol of escape from societal pressures and norms. It represents a natural, indifferent force, much like the sun, but instead of oppression, the sea offers Murso fleeting freedom. Contrast with society. While society, as symbolized by the courtroom and city, imposes judgments and constraints, the sea offers a space free from such burdens. In the water, Mursol seems to embrace the simplicity of physical sensations, suggesting a kind of freedom in living in the moment. Symbolic Meaning The sea represents both freedom and the existential reality of life, brief moments of pleasure in a universe that offers no lasting meaning or purpose. It symbolizes the temporary escape from the absurdity of existence. The Stranger remains a powerful exploration of the human condition, challenging readers to confront the absurdity of existence and the nature of morality. Through Mersault's journey, Camus invites us to question the societal norms that dictate our lives and to embrace the freedom that comes from recognizing the inherent meaninglessness of our existence. The novel's enduring relevance lies in its ability to provoke profound reflection on the nature of life, identity and the human experience, solidifying its place as a seminal work in modern literature. In conclusion, Albert Camus' The Stranger is not just a story of a man's life, but a profound philosophical inquiry into the essence of existence, making it a must-read for anyone seeking to understand the complexities of human life and the absurd world we inhabit.